We have uh, Dustin Martin and uh, Johnny Duran. They just got back from their 283-mile uh, flight, um, long drive back. Um, so how did, how did the flight start off yesterday, Dustin? Uh, Johnny came into the clubhouse and asked me what I was doing, and I really wasn't doing anything, so he gave me a little shit about it, and he left, got in his glider, and took off. And then where, what, what, where, where were you? <laughs> uh, then I put a shirt on and borrowed a radio because my radio was dead, and uh, spent, you know, kind of frankly put everything together and then got in my glider and, and got towed downwind and chased him. Uh, what time was this, Johnny? Um, it was about, uh, I guess, 11 o'clock. I, I took off about 11.15, and you know, I woke up, and I, I was a little bit hungover from the night before, and looked out, and I thought, gee, that looks like a good day. And I thought, how bad would it be to be sitting here doing nothing and quest there on a record-breaking day? And uh, I really didn't want to fly by myself, so I walked around, and, yeah, I found Dustin. I thought, oh, Dustin will come with me, and he didn't. Wasn't sounding very motivated, but uh, <laughs> Dustin not motivated. Oh no, you believe that? I said, "Come on, Dustin, I need somebody else." And I just walked away, and I, and soon enough he came running down the stairs. Oh, come, wait for me, wait for me. So uh, I'm glad he came because uh, I needed an extra person. How, how did the condition start for the uh, first and middle part of the day? It was, um, I think, we started about 3,000 feet cloud base, and uh, it was some pretty good lift. And, uh, yeah, it was pretty good. We had about 25k an hour tailwind, and cloud base slowly kept getting higher and higher as, as we went along. We heard it about 100 miles that uh, somebody wanted to sort of um, wuss out on the day. Um, what was that all about? Mm, I'm not really sure what happened. <laughs> he may have been getting a little worried because I was getting my ass kicked so bad. Maybe I was projecting my feelings onto him, but uh, Johnny saw a big field and decided that that was our destination. And I was actually agreeing with him in my head, but... Actually, it was so rough in the thermal I was in down low, I, I was just telling him, let's just get up to cloud base and think about it. How, how far out were you at when that happened? I don't know, 100? Right. Less than 100. Okay. And, and we had a big west crossing to do, and we weren't looking forward to it. How good did the conditions get during the middle of the flight? What, what was the best conditions during the middle of the flight, cloud base, tail, tailwind? Most thermal, seven to 800 average. Uh, very little sink between clouds. And a solid 25k wind, and every almost every single cloud working at that point. After 100 miles, every cloud just about worked, and they were really close together. The streets, the cloud shadows on the ground were lining up in really obvious streets. Convergence was starting to sort of appear, maybe ahead, and things looking good. Now Johnny's done this flight what four or five times, almost the exact same <laughs> distance. But uh, Dustin, this is your longest flight ever, isn't it? Yeah, it's my longest. No, no, continue. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, uh, yeah, Chris Smith, uh, first time he's ever dri driven uh, for Hangar Flights, he said he really picked the right day. He finally caught up to you, I heard, about, uh, about 260 miles, 270 miles out. Um, how, how did he greet you in the field when uh, you landed? He greeted us with um, a warm 600-mil bottle of water to split, <laughs> to split between the two of us. And <laughs> in directions to back the glider and shut the fuck up. <laughs> Yeah, he was um, he was pretty happy, but he didn't he didn't really give us a whole lot apart from uh, be there for when we landed and put some rap music on the radio. Yeah. He 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 put a he put some rap music, some evangelist blab, and and some other BS on the radio while we were flying to keep us going. But uh, really, without Chris, we definitely couldn't have done the flight because uh, there's no way I was taking off yesterday with uh, without a driver. And we definitely needed uh, we needed Chris, so we owe a lot to him. Thanks a lot, guys. Thank you. Thank you.